Welcome to English session. In this session, we are looking at uh, summary writing. So today, we want to find out when you are asked uh, to summarize, what usually happens? What do you do? So first, you know you need to know the mistakes. Then uh, uh, you learn the correct way of doing things. So when students are asked to write a, a summary, one, they write down everything that is wrong. They write down next to nothing because they have been told to summarize, so they would want to write very few, but missing a lot of points. That is not true. Uh, to, 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 uh, that's not uh, the way you are supposed to summarize. They give uh, complete sentences. They write way too much. You write more than required. Then they don't write enough. They copy word for word. This is not it. The correct way of doing things that's why you find that others are getting distinctions others are getting seven nine and so forth so or six so it's important that you know what you are doing when you summarizing so what is required of you one pull out many ideas that's the first important point so in most cases the summary uh, you do pull out maybe 20 points if you pull out 12 points, you get 10 out of 20. Okay, and join them. So you get enough points. Pull out main ideas, main points that you are asked to do, and then uh, you connect them. I'll show you how you are supposed to connect uh, those points in a summary. Focus on key details. So put in mind what you are asked in the question. If they tell you to uh, write the benefits of uh, uh, vegetables, having vegetables in a diet. So go and get points about uh, the benefits of having vegetables in a diet. Okay? So it helps in digestion. Okay? It prevents constipation. Okay? It promotes, it boosts immunity. Those are the points why vegetables are important in a diet. So don't go and copy other things and examples such as oranges, uh, cabbage, and know that those examples, they are not necessary. Use keywords and phrases. Then break down larger ideas. Write only enough to convey the, the idea. Take Succinct, succinct, uh, succinct but complete notes, clear but complete notes. So how should you, you be taught summary? So you should do, ensure that uh, teaching summary is not a small undertaking. It's most of the other strategies for students to get the idea. One of the other strategies for you to, uh, for a teacher to teach. So you have repeated, remodel it, and give students ample time to, and opportunities to practice. So now, once I teach how to summarize, I'll give you a lot of summary passages to practice. Because if you don't practice, you go with the burden uh, of uh, mistakes in an exam. So it's a variable strategy so that you gain competence. So when, once I give you summaries to, 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 to passages to, to attempt, please do so, because as you practice, you will be improving each day. But if you don't expect failure, so you can imagine uh, your students succeeding in uh, school without being able to break down content into manageable, small, clear pieces. So, we ask students to summarize all the time, but we are terrible about teaching them good ways to do this. So I'm here to help you uh, achieve that competence. So types of uh, summaries, types of uh, summaries, types of summaries, we'll end on types of uh, summaries. So summaries should be accurate and while 100% objective isn't possible. So you can't write 100% correct, but you have to achieve competence. So the summary writer should strive to stay close as possible to uh, this position. So most importantly, the summary writer should fairly 
present the author's ideas. So you have to present author's ideas. Writers of summary should save their own ideas. So even if you know, for example, the benefits of having vegetables in diet, which are not in the passage, don't add them there. So don't add your own ideas, even if you know the topic, interpretation of the response rather than including these things in the summary. So the purpose of the summary can alter, can alter how it is written. So the reader's needs and interest must be considered when crafting a summary. So a key skill to develop use of written summary is the ability to paraphrase, meaning to express the author's ideas using your own words. This is key. So there are three types of summary. We have a main point summary, key point summary, and the outline summary. So we'll talk about these types of summaries and they, I'll show you which summary are asked in an exam. Thank you so much for your attention.